Hello everyone, my name is Leah Yu and for those of you guys who are new to me, I am a person who loves decoding skincare with a little bit of science. I'm just a massive skincare geek who loves researching, learning about new facts, and delivering to you guys. Before we jump into the actual part of the video, I have a special announcement. So you guys are tuned into the lifestyle page of Created by Vicky, which is all things Asian culture and lifestyles. I and Vicky decided to celebrate the month of May, which is the Asian American Heritage Month, to come up with a new campaign called Vicky ID. So it's basically encouraging you guys to learn about your own heritage and true identities. So if we think about identities, it's really not only about our ethnicity or the color of the skin. It's about our passion. It's about our dream. It's about the reason why we do what we do. I think those are the elements that really show someone's true identity. So I want you guys to submit any video or any pictures with a hashtag Vicky ID and of course there is going to be a special prize for those who win the competition so good luck and show your true identities by hashtagging Vicky ID now let's move on to our video when it comes to recommending one single ingredient for everyone's skincare routine I must say nothing beats hyaluronic acid and there's something weird about the pronunciation it's like hyaluronic acid. <laughs> hyaluronic acid is something that can benefit every different skin type, every different age, every different skin condition and skin concern. So why is it so special? Because it is a wonderful humectant. Humectant is something that grabs water from the air and it binds together and also it holds onto it. So it basically retains the water. We already do have hyaluronic acid inside our body so we're born with it so when you apply it topically even though it is made synthetically in the lab your skin recognizes as one of your skin ingredients that's why it's very well accepted well tolerated it has a very low chance of irritation so when you're a baby you have full of HAs. Fortunately, as we age, we tend to lose hyaluronic acid, which means we're losing the elasticity and the firmness of our skin too. Hyaluronic acid is perfect for instant relief. It's like giving your skin a quick quench of water and hydration. It is going to eventually help with anti-aging because the more moisture you retain and have, it actually links to the skin plumpness and the bounciness. But before you go out and buy your own hyaluronic acid serum, there are some important things to know and learn before you do so. There are numerous studies that are saying hyaluronic acid, the molecule size, is actually too big to penetrate and reach the dermis, which is the deepest layer of the skin. It will hydrate your skin probably temporarily. However, it's not going to be the ideal fix for dehydrated skin. So it would rather sit on top of the surface and bind all the water from the air and it will plump up your skin only temporarily. Another thing to know before you go worship hyaluronic acid, I feel like I'm exposing hyaluronic acid for some reason. It is very environment dependent. It is not going to self-generate water. So let's say I apply hyaluronic acid serum in Singapore where it's really humid and there's constant stream of moisture in the air. Your skin is going to be really plump and really bouncy. On the other hand, if I would use hyaluronic acid serum in Arizona, in Palm Springs, somewhere like really deserted with little to almost none moisture particle in the air, there's really nothing to grab or catch from the air. So what this actually does is it grabs water, it pulls back the hydration from the skin. So in some cases, it can can actually make your skin even drier so I think it's very 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 important to lock that moisture and prevent the water loss and for preventing water loss it's very important to not only use hyaluronic acid serum but combine it together with natural lipids and essential fatty compounds that can actually prevent and work as inclusive and this is actually the formula or the skin's natural matrix and always if there's an issue with a wonderful ingredient the health and beauty industry revolves around to solve the problem so there are three interesting things that are happening 
right now. Number one, there is something called hyaluronic acid injective filler. This is called Bulgangjusa or water glow injective filler in Korea. So it's a very popular procedure and it's something that is pretty rather safe that US FDA approved. It bypasses all of the skin layers and reaches the dermis. And what this can do is that it can boost the collagen production as well from the dermis layer. So injected hyaluronic acid and the boosted collagen production can work synergistically in plumping up your skin. So it is going to work, however, it is definitely not for everyone. Number two, there's a hyaluronic acid dietary supplement. So basically, since hyaluronic acid is already present in our body, however, our skin is not the only organ that uses hyaluronic acid. We have our water fluid full area like our joints or our eyes. So those are the organs that will kind of benefit from consuming supplements first. So it doesn't really sound promising to have any effect on our skin, maybe a little. Yeah. Finally, in the skincare industry, we do have a solution too. Cosmetic chemists decided to chop it up. This is actually one of the biggest trends that I think it's going to blow up more and more in 2017. And I think there's a massive difference in using these kind of hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid rather than just using a hyaluronic acid. In terms of that approach, this product is a very, very smart problem solver. This is the Neod Multimolecular Hyaluronic complex. So it's called MMHC. It not only contains three different molecular weight of hyaluronic acid, so one sits on top, one goes into the middle, and one goes into the deep dermis layer, so it produces more hyaluronic acid and more naturally inside your skin. And it does have other compounds that can actually help and boost the elasticity of your skin and boost the potential hyaluronin inside your skin. That was it for exposing hyaluronic acid serum. And I I think it's a wonderful ingredient in general, but there is definitely some requirements to be used together or to note before you buy a hyaluronic acid serum. So hope this video was helpful. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.